the pixie is not suspicious, but we are running out of time. What does she have you doing here, Doctor? I will answer all of your questions as soon as we are out of here. I can speak on behalf of Offworld Command and promise you amnesty for helping me. I will also require... I'll make sure it happens. Then we have an agreement, Captain. Tonight, when the guards are done their final rounds, I will come for you. You must be ready. Just be careful. If Lisa doubts your intentions, even for a second, I know, Captain. Pixie Allied Command has volunteered to mind Earth while you are away. Has she picked her crew yet? I believe so, although she will have to run it by you first. We will need all hands on deck for this one, Ned. We're gonna need Arky to stay here and help the Pixie mind Earth. The Home Office travel range is very limited. We will begin our investigation close to home. We're just not designed for long-term space travel. The Air Edition will skip ahead to the location of the ambush that got us captured. Maybe they can get a lead. We have grown concerned about communication eavesdropping. To that end, I'm ordering both offices to coordinate through the off-world command while maintaining radio silence to one another. Are you sure that's wise? If one office requires assistance... You will reserve communications for emergency situations only. Understood, Admiral. When do we leave? As soon as the Airy Edition is ready. The Airy Edition is ready to depart. I just need to, like, run the crew manifest by you. I'm concerned that you are leaving yourself vulnerable in the engineering department. I know, but, like, Scott is totally needed here and stuff. I'm assigning a very old and dear friend of mine to the Airy Edition. He isn't exactly an engineer, but he is the most versatile dwarf I know. Did you, like, just say dwarf? His name is Eldon, and he will be your new first officer. He is scheduled to arrive later today. When you guys are ready to depart, we will get underway. I suggest you familiarize him with the Airy Edition. Sir, I'm a little concerned with the Admiral's orders to remain radio silent and stuff. Me too. But he has his reasons, and they make sense. Unless it's an emergency situation, we will obey his instructions to the letter. Understood, sir. Any luck with the captain's doppelganger? If you help us, we can improve your situation. It doesn't matter. This body is already starting to fail. I can get the best doctor in Wade here, but you have to give me something. Anything. There is nothing anyone can do for me now. Have it your way. If you change your mind, ask for the Admiral. Nothing substantial. Is it true he's, like, dying and stuff? It looks that way, yes. Wow. I mean, that is, like, no way to, like, live and stuff. We can't depend on him for any information. Let us know when you're ready to depart. No problem. And, sir? Good luck out there. You too, all. This is operations. We go ahead and assign you crew quarters and everything. She's a real fine ship, Captain. That's gonna take a little getting used to and stuff. Just call me off, I think. Off it is then, love. Ted tells me you're like a wizard and everything. That's right. One of the oldest, I believe. We have that in common. I mean, the magic thing. Not the old thing, obviously. Attention on deck. My name is Eldon, and I will be your new first officer. Off-world command expects us to be ready to leave within the hour. How we do it? Weapons have been repaired. Shields are now operational. AD, is it? I knew your father very well. He was a good man, as far as demons go, that is. I think navigational systems are ready. I'm a little new at this. Everyone has to start somewhere, buddy. I'm Dev. Yes, I'm aware. A medical mystery. We've come to believe that he's, like, from an alternate timeline or universe or something. And who's this fine-looking woman we have here? I'm Gale. I'm David's mother. Ah, yes. The special operations ghost, is it? She has proven to be very effective. I have no doubt, Captain. Pardon me. Ah. 
we're like a little short on staff, but I believe that's why you're like here and stuff. I can fill in some gaps here and there. Ted speaks very highly. And of you as well. Clones? Yes, yes Captain. For what purpose? Bioweapons. Are you saying Lisa is in possession of bioweapons? Prototype weapons. They are not yet completed, but any novice scientist can complete the work I started. The Pixie feared off world command would locate and arrest her. She leveraged youths against your Just how many clones did you create, Doctor? Three. One of which has already infiltrated your office. We have to warn them. That clone would be already breaking down by this point, Captain. I created them to only last a short while before decomposing. You mean die, don't you? You created them to only live a short time before dying. Yes, yes. Captain. I make no apologies. I'm a scientist, Captain. Sometimes there is loss for him. Scientists accept this. Comforting, Doctor. Where are we exactly? We are entering a system with a large alien space station in the orbit of the fourth planet. What are we doing here? We require a power source, supplies, and help. What kind of help? Report. Our sensors are unable to determine exactly what it is. We, like, need to get a closer look, maybe. Take us into the atmosphere, laddie. Just enter the sequence. See? Like this. Got it. Thank you, sir. Prepare the ship for deep sea travel. I recommend remaining at high alert until we acquire more information. Good idea. This world is abandoned. We knew it was a long shot. We can't stay here long. Solar radiation is tearing through our shields. It's probably why she chose it as a base location in the first place. We have received a message from Off-World Command. The Captain's clone has died. Wow. Can't help but feel bad for him. We can't worry about that right now. Adjust our course away from orbit. When we are clear, take us to the next location. Wow. I mean, I know he wasn't like the captain or anything, but I mean, I still feel bad. It scares me. What if I'm a clone too? Then you would probably be dead or dying like he was. That's slightly morbid. But he's right. The fact that you're alive and fine right now means you probably aren't like a clone or anything. We are nearing to the surface. Submerge the ship. Taking us in. Sensors are clearing up a little. There is definitely a structure down here. Looks like a deep sea base of some kind. Any readings to like indicate life signs or anything? We will need to get closer. I'm on it. What are you doing now? Bringing her online. I acquired a power source and need your help to install it or my missile. A hologram? Yes, yes Captain. A prototype I designed. She is SCOHP5. Superior computing off-world holographic program, fifth generation. We need all the help we can get. Did you manage to obtain supplies? They will be delivered shortly. Are you sure we can trust him? Probably not, but we don't have any other choice. Without supplies, we won't get very far. All right, let's go. Can we establish communication? I'm not entirely certain there is anyone there to communicate with. Prepare the lifeboat. You intend to go over there? Not me. You and A.D. go and, like, check it out or something. A.D., you're with me. Can 
Can you identify them? This vessel does not match any known configuration or design. Sensors confirm it, Captain. There is one human on board. Open communication. Full immunity, full funding of all future research and a commission with your office. With conditions, of course. Naturally. The station is requesting our docking authorization. What's the problem? I'm not certain, but they are attempting to hold us here. Can you break us free? Yes, but it may seriously damage the hull. It's either that or submit to them. Increasing power to the engine. Noted. Give me as much as you can. The doctor will pay with his life for betraying my trust in him. If you wish to live, you will find him. 